You need any more help? That's it. You've just got to learn to do your buttons yourself. You're nearly done. How is your bath? dark isn't it that better that's better oh i look a bit dodgy got my glasses on today um i've got a bit of headache i don't actually need them on now i was doing some driving um i need them for driving and i forgot to take them off as i come out of the car i've just popped to sainsbury's as you saw so i got the tiddlies off to school elijah was in a very bad mood this morning I don't know what is going on with that kid. I really don't. He didn't want to carry his book bag at all. And instead of saying, Mommy, can you please carry my book bag? He decided to have an absolute meltdown and a strap saying that his book bag, my book bag made him look like an idiot. <sighs> so, um... Me being the wonderful parent I am, dug my heels in and refused to carry his bag because he hadn't asked nicely, which just put him in an even worse mood. It made him very grumpy going to school. Don't know what's going on with him. The last few days, he's not been the best. He's been very, very grumpy indeed. So I need to have a good chat with him tonight. But having a chat with... Hello, doggies. Hello, hello, hello. Having a chat with a five-year-old about their attitude towards life is not exactly the easiest thing in the world to do because he doesn't know why he's feeling grumpy. He's five. He doesn't understand his emotions to the extent that he can explain in full why he's feeling the way he's feeling. So I don't know. I don't know whether to bring their bedtime forward 30 minutes but that's so they go to bed at half seven at the minute so to put them to bed at seven i'm a little bit like is that too early it's too early for grace and reuben so i'd have to separate the bedtimes again which i did try before the summer holidays and it sort of worked so i might try that tonight i might try taking seth and elijah up half hour before grace and reuben and see how that goes down and see if i can settle them and then I can, I did start reading Harry Potter to Grace and Reuben, so I could actually get back into doing that. Why are you licking me? Yeah. I need to tidy today. After I've put the shopping away, I'm going to make myself some porridge. And then I'm going to tidy, because that's what I need to do. Um, and I need to do some ironing as well. Riveting, absolutely wonderful, wonderful content. I don't know whether to go swimming after school. I'm, ugh, I can't say I'm feeling it, to be honest. I really don't know. I'm going to say it. I'm going to say how I feel later on. If I get everything done that I need to get done. And then we might. You're weird. Are you going to help me put the shopping away? Oh. Yeah. Oh, thank you. You're such a good doggie. Oh, I love you too. I love you. <laughs> Huskies are funny. I thought I'd just show you some of the snacks I've got. I've, got. I've gone a little bit crazy, I think. Just a little bit psychopathic on like lunchbox snacks. But these were on offer, the yo-yos, for um, £3 for nine. So that's 18 fruit rolls. These are great for lunchboxes. Um, these are quite a big fave of mine at the moment. I might do a blog post on all my favourite things. And yes, I haven't put the breakfast stuff away yet. Please please don't judge me i should have fruit strings as well these are sainsbury's oh i think they're oh no they're not sainsbury's own the fruit factory fruit strings these are fab as well so the kids actually feel like they're getting sweets in their lunchbox whereas in fact they're not yes they are high in sugar 
Um, there is no denying that there is a lot of sugar in these, but my kids also have veg sticks in their lunch as well, so they'll get some peppers and carrot sticks, and this is their treat, so they're not getting chocolate on top of this or biscuits on top of this, this is their sweet treat. So, although they do have a lot of sugar in them, um, I don't mind that because it's natural sugar, it's not man-made sugar, so it digests fine, it goes through. So as long as they're cleaning their teeth properly, there is no harm in them having it. Fruit Stars, these were on offer as well, these two, for £1.50 for five packs. So these are great little snacks as well. I also got the blackcurrant flavour of these as they were on offer. And then I saw these were on offer in the baby event, which are the mango and strawberry um, pure fruit shapes. And I got the lion paws. I thought they were quite cute as well. And then for me and Adam, these were on offer. I, um, I only got these purely because they were on offer. Uh, the Jordan's Fruisley. Am I saying that right? Red Juice, ugh, juicy red berries, chewy cereal bars. These were also £1.50 for six. So I got the juicy red berries and the juicy blueberries and the apple and cinnamon. The reason I got these was because they're like 100 calorie, 114 calories per bar for that one, 113 for the blueberry and 119 for the red cherries. Just because then because i am trying to i am trying to lose a little bit of weight i'm not overly concerned about my weight as in the sense that obviously i'm not obese but i am borderline i'm getting a lot bigger than i need to be because i'm quite sure i'm not a very tall person i'm only five foot i say five foot four but i think it's more like five foot three and a half um so i'm quite sure so although i'm not that heavy compared to some people it's heavy for me and i just want to be healthy and that's why i didn't go for like the special k bars which are a lot less calories but have like so much sugar in it and some of it's artificial as well so i don't like that so i thought i'd go for the jordans because it's more natural i talking like i know what i'm talking about don't really know what i'm talking about all i know is that i want to eat better foods like whole foods in the sense that i want to know what's in the ingredients so if i don't recognize something in the ingredients i don't want to be buying it but i recognize every word in these ingredients and that's what i'm going by now i brought a book for the whole 30 diet and there's a lady that i follow on instagram um it starts with mum she's from america and her guideline to eating healthy is basically if you don't recognise the ingredients on food, then what even is it? <laughs> what are you eating if you don't even recognise the ingredients on it? If it's got loads of ingredients like chemicals and stuff, then you don't want to really be eating it, do you? So try and stick to foods that have got f ingredients in that you know what they are. Okay, there's my little preach for the day. Preach! Right, I've got the music on, I'm tidying. <sighs> I've, I'm not like tidy tidying, I am tidying. So I've tidied Grace's room, but I haven't like cleaned it. So I haven't vacked yet, I am gonna vac, but I haven't done the windows, which I meant to, but I can't be bothered, I made a bed. I'm running out of energy. Uh, I tidied the boys' room or made all their beds. They, the worst beds in the world to make, like appalling semi done our room but our room is where i iron and i need to keep on top of the ironing this is my ironing pile that's all the ironing i've got to do which i'll get done today it looks a lot but it's not actually that much that'll take like 30 minutes max so i'm gonna get that done today and and um, put that away and then i'm gonna make sure i put the ironing board away tonight because i'm fed up with it being out like really fed up with it being out does anybody else like use grips in the hair sometimes and then you take them out and just sort of leave them wherever you were stood at the time you took them out yeah just me then
kids. I did all of the house. I had some friends pop in for a cup of tea and they brought me a cake, which is not good when you're trying to diet. So I need to lock the doggies out and go get my tiddlies from school. I need to stop the music. I also need a drink. I've just done because I felt so guilty about eating the cake. I've just done some time on the bike. <laughs> I need to change my jumper. I'm melting. Right, I've locked the dogs out. When I get back from school run, I need to just vacuum upstairs quickly because one of my delightful little children unplugged my Dyson from charging. So I got upstairs, well, I got to the front mat, I did the front mat, got halfway upstairs and then my Dyson died. <laughs> he died to death. Right, I need a t-shirt, I'm so hot. Right, t-shirt on. I also changed into my jeans because I had my um, baggy, what you call it, like my housework trousers on. Although I did wear those to the school this morning. And then I'm going to do my step. I'm going to add to my steps walking down to the school. I do really need a drink, but I don't know if I've got time now to get some water. It's always got to be time for water, hasn't it? As it's so good for you. As it's so marvellously good. I've got one of my old bottles back out just to make sure I'm drinking enough. So I've been trying to drink three of these a day. I haven't really been succeeding that much. Right, that's going to have to do. I need to go get my children from school. And Elijah better be in a better mood. He really had better be. I need to have words with that kid, I do. I really do. I'm home. I have all my little tiddlies. I've just made Elijah a hot chocolate in your magic cup, haven't I? How is it magic? Changes, doesn't it, as it gets hot? It's cool, isn't it? I'm not sure if it does. Yeah, because it was all red before, just with Mario on. You've got your hot chocolate as well, haven't you? Mm -hmm. Do you love hot chocolate? Mummy, remember mm. when I left it outside now, it was black. Yeah. Elijah used to have a cow cup, just like Seth's, which he loved. But he left it outside, and I didn't know he'd left it outside. And we forgot, we forgot all about it. And it obviously got wrecked. So we couldn't have it back I again. Because the um, hot chocolate was in there too long, so it went like moulder. Can you imagine it? Days old hot chocolate. Blech. Gross. Right, I'm just putting dinner on. I'm having chicken casserole tonight. Chick, 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 chicken. Lay a little egg for me. Oh, I was just chopped onions for um, my chicken casserole. I'm just frying them off now and I was like, oh, the onion's making me cry and Elijah was sat there going, nah, you're just faking it. I was like, no, my eyes are stinging, onions make you cry. And he just kept saying, nah, you're faking it. Oh, is that right? Right, dinner's nearly done. Wow, ne yeah, nearly done. I'm going to do some mashed potato with it and some Yorkshire puddings. Look who's home. How happy are you with me? Adam doesn't love me anymore. I love you. It's a bit harsh. Yeah, I put beetroot in his lunchbox today. Um, just because I thought it might like not spice up his, like just juicy up, <laughs> literally juicy up his salad. I just thought it would, instead of putting like a salad dressing on there, I just put a beetroot salad on there um, for the juices and he had some couscous and normal salad. <laughs> The beetroot leaked through his lunchbox into his laptop bag. <laughs> Are you a bit sticky? Yeah, horrible. He's now picking out recycling out of the bin. <laughs> oh, have you managed to clean your bag, dear? I think so. You think so? Is it less sticky now? Well, I don't know. It's damp now. Damp. How was work anyway? Was it a productive day? Hey? Was it productive? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Hi. How was your bath? So all the boys have just had baths. Grace is currently Mama. in the bath. Mama. Mama. 
<laughs> Seth is still upstairs. I'm leaving him to get ready for bed on his own. I don't know if that's a good idea or not because as Adam come home, he was running around naked still. <laughs> I can hear him banging around, but he's not getting ready, you say? <laughs> nah, nah. Just looking at um, Well Done. Do you really want them pyjamas on? Yeah. He wants his Christmas one. I've just ironed these and put them in his drawer and he wants them back on again. Mm, they smell. They're cold. Where did you get them from? Out of your drawer? Yeah. No. Out of your drawer? Yeah. Right, sit on your bum and put your legs in. Sit on your I'll help you in one sec. Right, the, the, what I showed you earlier, the cereal bar things that I brought for me and Adam to snack on. Adam's just opened the kids' drawer and was like joking about having a mini roll before dinner. I moan at him if he eats before dinner. And I said, no, if you've got to have anything, have a healthy bar out of our cupboard. <laughs> how many calories are in the mini roll? 115. And how many calories are in the healthy bar? 119. <laughs> oh, we might as well just carry on eating chocolate. Surely that's got to be better for you, though. It's got to have more nutrients or something in. Yeah, there's more fat and sugar in the chocolate roll. Is there? Actually, no, I don't think there's sugar actually. Yeah, but it's because it's no, got sugar, fruit in it. Yeah, well, that he's getting there. You're getting there. You get in there. Do you need any more help? That's it. You just got to learn to do your buttons yourself. You're nearly done. How is your bath? What? <laughs> oh, look, Daddy's nearly done it all himself. Do you need help? Can you do them? Do you need a bit of help? Yeah. Yeah. Um, so yeah, so the moral of the story is I spent all that money on healthy cereal bar things. Should have just got another pack of mini rolls. Wouldn't have just done as just as good. No, in all seriousness, stick to the healthy stuff, kids. Right. Oh look at him, he's near a good egg. Are you a good egg? Yeah, I've got a card all down. I've got the dishes. You're a div. Um, well, I've got egg in the stuff. <laughs> you know, I've changed my mind, you're a now. We've just put the kids to bed. They actually, like, once they got up, they actually went up quite well, didn't they? Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Not a terrible bedtime. They all went up together, though, because Grace is quite tired. And Reuben... Well, he's not that tired, is he? But <laughs> no point in letting him stop up. But the little boys hopefully have settled down. We just caught Elijah with a magic trick box in his bed, so he's now been that's now been removed. <laughs> I really hope tomorrow's better with him, Ad. Aren't you like? Oh, you're going to work really early, aren't you? I think Adam needs to do the schoolroom wonder. <laughs> Uh, Elijah bless him after playing up at um, ninja school last night he says today when's my next ninja class because I missed not doing it last night should have done it then shouldn't they it's Adam's ritual he drinks a pint of water every night what's what's it for again keep me hydrated no 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 there's another reason he said it's good for your heart that's it. You read. Oh, you read something. Yeah. You read something on Facebook. Apparently, if you drink a pint of water before bed, it keeps your circulation good. I could not drink a pint of water before bed because I would be weeing all night. How do you not wee all night? Hmm? How do you not need the toilet? I have a wee before we go to sleep. Yeah, but do you not need it through the night as well? Hmm. I don't think so. Unless I sleep and get the toilet. Sleepwalk and wee. Sleepwalk wee. Right, we're going to go settle down now. I think we've got scorpions to catch up on still. Yes. How many episodes are that? Mm, there's a few still, I think. Oops. Uh, I'm going to read for a little bit. I feel a bit not very well. I feel really quite sick. It's a dodgy dinner, mate. I am. I'm wondering if I've poisoned myself. I like that little bit of a um, weird sick headache. You know when you get a headache when you feel sick? Like that. That was weird. Right, we're going to bed. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Thank you, and we'll see you next time. <laughs> see you tomorrow. Bye.